Hello everyone, Yoru here and today I'm gonna show you how you can prevent your particles from breaking. So as you can see the Renata ult looks pretty bugged because the particles broke in the recent patch. So I'm just gonna show you how you can prevent that. First I'm just gonna tell you why exactly they break. So basically your bin files link to specific files with specific file names in a specific file location. Now what Riot sometimes likes to do is to put like additional file names into their files that they remove at some point, usually. So I'm just gonna show you in the uh, in Renata's case, they actually did not remove it, and they just removed some other files. So for example, here you can see there's a dot Renata at the end for no apparent reason. I sometimes like to randomly remove that. And that often happens to other champions too, like everything new, everything that gets a, a particle update, like Jenna recently. She probably also has like VFX update after the dot in her name right now. And that's just a lot of that happening. And then what happens is if you don't have the file in your mod, for example, or basically if you if your bin links to a file that is there in the same what client file as your mod, so for example, if you did not edit those, in theory you can leave them out because then the mod just loads it from the original what client file from the game. But now if you don't have that file in your mod and Riot renames that file, the mod cannot find that file anymore. So it just will have a bug texture like Renata has. So probably what they did is because Renata has a lot of shared particles, which is another issue, they removed or they edited one of the shared particles because as you can see here, she takes from Dr. Mundo, Jay, Sliblog, Morgana, Rakan, Renata, Senna, Thresh, Tunamir, Twitch, Warwick, Serrat, and some of the shared and particles folder. So she has a lot of shared particles, a lot of things that can go wrong. For example, here you can see the Dr. Mundo video after the dots as well. Whatever that means. But yeah, some of those probably got changed so it does not work anymore and the old looked sparked. And I'm going to show you how we can keep all the files in your mod as well as the files from other champions and so it doesn't not break that often hopefully. I actually haven't really seen if it fully works right now but it should in theory so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, the prerequisites for that tutorial to make sense for you would be that you have, of course, some bins in your mod at least. Which can be either here inside data, there's uh, the hashed ones which just have random numbers as their names, which I don't have for Renata. And then under in this file path, you would usually have like skin 0, skin 1, skin 2, whatever, which I have skin 0 in her case. It doesn't matter if you only recolored, if you particle swapped or anything. Now what I usually do is go just into the original particles folder and just paste everything that is directly from Obsidian in there as well. Because that way you usually can already get a lot of the missing files in there, so you don't have to go through them one by one that much, so as you can see everything is just there and that's why I don't have that many missing ones already. When you particle swap you of course get a lot from other champions, which I wouldn't move yet. I would just go through the missing file first, which we're gonna do in a bit. And yeah, that way it's just a bit easier. Now what we want to do is start Hexor by Martheus, which will allow us to scan all the bin files for which um, files they use. So you go to bin tags, select your what folder, which is of course just this one, your champion.what.client, then you ch select that folder, 
And here you will see if you have any like files you actually don't need, which can of course be the case. So you just want to delete. The BTX files are just working files for Hexa, so they don't mean anything to you really, but I would delete them anyways. But if only BTX files shows, that's good. Now if you go into your what client folder back, you will have three lists. First of all, combined will show every single file that the the bins use. Missing will show that the all files that the bins use but are not in your what client folder yet. And separate will will show all of the files a simple a uh, single container in the bin will use. For example, everything that's on the missile for the Renata ult would be interesting for me in that case, but I don't really use that that often. It's it can be handy if you like want to change specific files or anything, but yeah. For us the missing file is the interesting one. Just open it. And now as you can see there are again all of the different champions. Now what I'm going to do is extract all those other champion what clients. I already have that. And get their textures. So go here, then I'm gonna start with Mundo. And just search for the file in there. And there are, oh, I didn't copy it properly. Of course, copy the whole name. Otherwise you will get way too much stuff. And there you can see it. Now, what it says here is, of course, the original file path for Mundo. Which I don't want to do. Like, in theory, you could do it. Uh, but I would not recommend it because this can cause like overlaps with other mods if they use the same file. So what I also like to do is to reroute the particles later so that everything goes into the Renata base folder. So in order to do that, I'm just going to take that one file and go back into Renata skin space particles and just paste it there already. Now, of course, this will not work. For example, if you rerun the bin text now and go through missing again, it will still be in there. But don't worry about that. Now you just want to go through every single one in here, paste every single one of them into your particles folder. Of course, um, sometimes you will search for something and for example the part after the dot will be removed then you need to make sure that you put it back so it really has to be exactly named the same as it's in the list here otherwise you will have to fix it later on so i'm just gonna go ahead and quickly get all my files So now we reach the fully shared ones, which are not directly linked to any champion. Um, I'm not fully sure if they often get changed or if you could just leave them in theory and it would be fine. I usually tend to just copy them over too, just for safety reasons, but it's not a must. But yeah, sometimes they are also already there because they are really like general particles. 
but I will just do it as well. And then we're done. So your next step is going to be to reroute the particles. So you want to go back into your what client file and now get the bin. So you want to convert the bin to a Python file with reto bin, of course, first, which I already did. So I don't have to do it anymore and then open the Python file. Now, just to make it a bit less confusing, because otherwise it will edit that file. Or actually... No, never mind. So what you want to do now is work through all these file paths and change them with yours. So, what I like to start do is start with the champion name and then go into the skin name. So you want to go to edit and then replace. So you want to go to find Dr. Mundo skin space. Now, as you can see, there's the path for Mundo. And I want to replace that with my mind. So it's Renata slash skin plus base. Of course, make sure that's exactly the same. But yeah, she's just called Renata and not Renata Glask. And you have nine different occurrences in that bin. And then you want to click on replace all. Then you will replace all of the occurrences. And as you can see, now it says Renata here. So next one is going to be Jace. You have to really make sure to always have the same amount of slashes in your replacement thing because otherwise it won't work and it will not find the particle as well. For example, if it would be like this. And now I pasted in the wrong one. My bad. But if you put it like this, for example, then it would put one slash too many and it wouldn't work. Okay. As I said, really just go through them one by one. So now we reach the shared ones again, which are a bit more complicated because you really have to be careful about the pathing. So you want to take assets slash particles and then move it to assets slash characters slash and that. So now assets slash characters slash Renata. That's correct. And it's going to be the same one for this one. As the slash characters slash particles and the as the slash. yeah. So now there you just want to type in a longer path to replace it properly, so it's actually in the correct place in the end. Now we're gonna just save the bin and convert it back to a bin file, of course. Now if it converts on the first try, there are no errors, which is good. And now I want to do again and re retry with bin tags. That's already not a good sign. Ah uh, yeah, see? There, I already made a mistake with the pathing. 
because I missed the base slash particles in here. So what I'm just going to do is move all of those files into the base folder because it doesn't really matter. So it's the RM health pack base white RBG. The color hold. And flapper CFT. We really have to pay attention to that, so. Now let's just run bintex again. No duplicate files or unnecessary files rather. And now if you open the missing JSON, there shouldn't be any issues anymore. Yep, now we have everything. So now I'm just gonna go repack my mod and then show you her in-game again. And there we go. She's now all fixed up again. The old everything's there again, as you can see. No more blocky textures. And yeah, that's just how you can fix your particles. As well as they are already, if they are already broken. This is how you can fix them, and I hope this tutorial helped you, and see ya!